What's up, Mr. Van Fekman? Are you all set? Yes. So should, should Greg and I have our video off during the press conference, or should we just be muted? Uh, just mute it. Okay. And then you'll let us know when he's when Obi's ready to get started. Yeah. Yeah. I'll, I'll say last question, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Obi, are you all set for questions? Yes, sir, I'm ready. Okay. Thanks, man. The first question yes, will be from Stefan Bondi. Hey, Obi, how's it going, okay. man? Congratulations. Yes, sir, I appreciate it. Thank you. How you doing? All right, man, thanks. Um, I mean, I, I know you didn't expect to fall to the Knicks at eight, I'm sure. I mean, can you take me through um, the whole emotions of, of, of what happened just now and, and then falling to a team? And was, were the Knicks the team you wanted to go to? I'm going to be honest with you. Me, me hearing my name called is a blessing. A lot mm -hmm. of people dream of this moment. There's only 60, 60 picks, and I was one of those picks, so – whether I was one, whether I was 60, I, was, I had the God-given like, blessing to, to be number eight and go to my hometown, which was New York. So me being this, in this position is a blessing. So, And, and how do you, how, what do you think about Coach Tom Thibodeau and how do you think um, you fit onto this roster? Yeah, I definitely feel like Coach, uh, I, I learned a lot about Coach uh, through this pandemic and, and basically I understand he's a defensive coach. And that's that's one of my 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 biggest things I need to work on. I feel like having him as my head coach, he's gonna he's gonna make sure that I, I lock in and make sure that I become great one day. Like I feel like if I get that defensive defensive scheme down, like I'm a I'm gonna be a really good player one day, a really great player one day. And I feel like everybody in this organization is gonna push to to help me be great. And I'm I'm glad I'm here. So. Okay, the next question will be from Ian Begley. Yes, sir. Obi, uh, congratulations and thanks for doing this. Yes, sir. Think about some of the other young guys on this roster and how you might fit with them. You know, the RJ yes, Barrett. Sir. To start. What, how, what do you think about your fit with RJ? Yes, sir. I, I feel like me and RJ is going to be a great, great duo. It's going to be like me and Jalen all over again. Me, uh, Jalen Crutcher, who who I played a dating with. Um, me, me and RJ being on the court together, it's going to be a, a lot of situations where we're going to put people in, in, in tough situations like pick and roll coverages, knowing, knowing I can uh, pick and pop, knowing I can roll to the basket and RJ having an IQ and, and, uh, and skills he has, I feel like we're going to, we're going to be a very dynamic duo in, in the NBA and we're going to prove that this year or this upcoming season. So thank you. The yes, next sir. question will be from Ferdinand Rivera. Hello, Obi from Puerto Rico. What will you like yes, to sir. achieve for the city and the team of New York? Can you say that again? I'm sorry. What will you like to achieve for the city and team of New York? I, I wanna, I wanna have a brotherhood. I wanna, I wanna build, build a relationship with everybody on the team and not only the team, the organization and, and have a lot of W's turn, uh, New York, New York's been down a couple, couple years. And I feel like, uh, with, with the guys they have now and myself added to that, I feel like we're going to, we're going to win a lot of games and, and we're going to put New York back on the map for sure. Thank you. Congratulations. 
Yes, sir. The Thank next you. question will be from Otis Livingston. Obi, congratulations on being a first round lottery pick with the New York Knicks. Uh, yes, I appreciate feel, it. How do you feel that your work ethic got you to this moment, not having a Division One offer coming out of high school and not being highly yes, touted and things of that nature? And now here you are, yes, a couple years later, NBA yes, lottery. Sir, I just, yeah, I feel like uh, nothing's came easy for me. Like, I, I went through a lot of things growing up. And I feel like through those struggles and through those bad times that I've been through growing up, it, it made me the person and player that I am today. Uh, I, I learned from those experiences uh, on court and off court. And I feel like going through those experiences helped, uh, helped me become who I am today. And, like, I wouldn't change it for anything. So. And how about coming back home to New York? Coming back home to New York is, is a blessing. Being able to play in front of uh, all the family and, friend, and fans out here and, and in front of my friends, it's, it's a blessing. So I wouldn't change it for the world. I'm glad I landed where I landed. So, Congratulations. Yes, sir. I appreciate it. All right. You played against my son, too, at George Mason. Yes, sir. Oh, the slim. Yes, sir. <laughs> yes, sir. Next, next question will be from Andres Lopez. Thank you. Obi, congrats on your big day, man. My question is very yes, similar sir. to the last question they just asked. You've gone through a lot, and you mentioned how that shaped you into the man and player you are today. Can you elaborate a bit yes, more sir. into uh, all the lessons specifically that you learned throughout this period and how the, this journey really shaped you into being who you are today? Right. So through high school, I, I changed schools a lot. Uh, I was living in Florida. I was living in New York. And I went to prep school in Baltimore. So going through all those all those challenges, meeting new people, having to adapt to a new city, uh, create new friends, new teammates, like I had to go through that. And and also me not being able to play my freshman year in, in college, like that it was it was hard going through that. But like at the same time I had a good group of guys around me to to push me to be to be great. And I feel like without those guys being around me, I wouldn't be in the position I am today. So I'm, I'm very grateful for them and, and can't wait to start my new journey with the Knicks. So. Hey, man, we're happy for you. Enjoy this moment, and we wish yes, you the sir. best. Yes, and I appreciate the, it. The last question for Obi will be from Danny Thompson. Obi, Obi, congratulations, and welcome to New York. Well, a lot of time oh, being spent down. A lot of time being down time in the pandemic. What are some of the players that you study and model your game like. And for those who've never seen you play, what NBA player that kind of was your game kind of similar to or reminds people of? Uh, I feel like I studied a lot of people uh, through this pandemic, uh, a lot of Anthony Davis, and that's what I'm trying to mimic my game after. I feel like Anthony Davis, he has a lot of different tools to his game on the offensive side and defensive side. I understand I need to work a lot on the on the defensive side to be as, as efficient as, as Anthony uh, Anthony Davis is, but like I feel like offensively, like studying studying the things he does on and off the court, like he, he's a great player, and I've been I've been watching a lot of his film. Uh, a lot of people have been saying that I play like a Marty Stoudemire, so I've been looking at a lot of film on him and seeing how dominant and and the the hard work he put in through 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 every game and every practice. So watching watching those two guys been been helping me throughout this pandemic, and I feel like I got better off of that. So. Once again, Obi, congratulations. Welcome to New York, my friend. Thank you. I appreciate it. Okay, Obi, you're all set. You're done with this room. Yes, sir. And you'll be moved on to your next spot. Thank you very much. All right. I, pre I appreciate it. Thank you. Thanks, Steber. Obi, I'll let you know as soon as I hear which uh, room is next. Okay, I appreciate it. Thank you.